What's up, man? It's IT, man. I'm tuning in with 90s. Where they already know what's going on, man. I'm from Atlanta, but we out here in Houston, man. Tune in with 90s. What they want, this is 91. This is what they want, what they want. This is 91. This is what they want, what they want. This is 91. This is what they want, what they want. This is 91. This is what they want, what they want. So this is your first time in Houston? Oh, uh, yeah, it's my first time in Houston. Okay, you came out just for Trey Day? Yeah, we came out here to support Trey Day, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? All the events going on, we popping up everywhere, we everywhere. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> when did you first hear about Trey Day? Man, I don't even know, I ain't gonna care. Yeah. I'm just, I don't even know, don't put me out on a spot like that. <laughs> no, no, you good, you good, because I, I feel like it's really just now starting to really get to, like, a lot get of buzz. To like get picked up and stuff like that, so yeah. Why, why earlier this year? Right. Did you perform while you was out I here? No, I didn't perform while I was out here. I was just out here making connections, networking. Making connections. Okay, okay, okay. You know? So, what kind of connections are you looking for right now as far as where you're in your oh, career? Oh, man, everybody and anybody. Uh -huh. You feel me? We don't discriminate when it comes down to networking. We networking with everybody. Comedians, actress, uh, actors, actresses. You feel me? Everybody. Everybody. Everybody we connected with. You know what I'm saying? My style of genre is different. It's rock rap. So, I'm trying to figure out how can I incorporate that style into the rap music while still, you know, being presentable for rock music as well. So, okay. it's just different. Now, with you being from Atlanta, one thing I always hear, at least, you know, I hear, you can't really speak on things if you're not from this place that you're speaking on. But they always say Atlanta supports each other. It says, you know, yeah. in the independent scene, there's a lot of camaraderie out there. Y'all help build each other up. And people say they don't really feel that out here in Houston as much. But what do you feel? Is it like that in Atlanta? Yeah, it's like that in Atlanta. Like, if somebody don't know you, and you, you know what I'm saying, you branding yourself, and you got something going on, everybody support everybody. It's not no, like, oh, well, I don't know this person. I'm not gonna support this person. It's, I see you coming up, I see your hustle, I see your drive, so everybody's supporting everybody. So okay. it, ain't no, it ain't no hate stuff. Cool. Have you felt the love out here in Houston? Man, since I've been out here, it's been cool. It's been cool, I ain't gonna count, man. A lot of people don't know me, they see me, they see my style. Right. You know what I'm saying? So they, they ask me questions, they, they intrigue. Right. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, it's cool. Okay, so let's get a little bit more into you. You're from Atlanta. In Atlanta or around Atlanta? Uh, nah, so let me get it, let me get let me get the record straight. So I'm from Augusta, Georgia. I migrated to Atlanta um, probably like two, three years. I've been up there. It's just easier to say from Atlanta because you say Georgia and everybody just say, what, Atlanta? So Yeah, just, I feel you. But you know, hey, shout out to Augusta though. I mean, I've heard a lot of different things that have come out of Augusta, a lot of different yeah. people from Augusta. So it's definitely one of the places that's uh, it's known. Yeah, it's a, a little known, a little something. something. A little something, maybe little like something. in the South. Yeah, maybe down there. Yeah. You say that shit anywhere else, everybody like, ah. So, I know you really pushed those barriers stepping outside of rap and getting into the rock. Where did those influences come from? With you being from Atlanta, how did the rock influence come in? Um, because why everybody was listening to Soldier Boy back in the 2000s and Luda back in the 2000s. I was listening to Three Days Grace and Nirvana. You know what I'm saying? So, it just depends on how I grew up. I grew up, I. My, my household listens to rock and rap and R&B, but I just kind of gravitated more towards rock, so. Hmm. Who, who put you on the rock in your household? Uh, my big brother, yeah. um, my big brother James passed away last year. I dedicated a song to him that's Moonlight. Y'all can go check that out. It's uh, about suicide awareness, you feel me? So, yeah. yeah. So that had a big impact on your life, I can imagine. I feel like one thing is black people were not taught the proper way to grieve. Do you find, find like you find a good way to grieve through your music? Uh, no, let me tell you something about grief. Okay, look. There's no proper way to grieve. Nobody truly don't know. I feel like when you talk to people, it don't really kind of help. Um, music helps a lot for me, but you know, it doesn't always take the pain away. So it's just something that we gotta learn how to deal with as humans. So outside of uh, the music, when it comes to life, how do you deal with life when things are kind of weighing on you? I'll tell you, I live every day like it's my last. That's how I deal with life. Mm. Do you have any fears? No fears. No fears? No fears at all. Okay. No, I take that back. I take that back. My number one fear is to die without putting my music out. You know what I'm saying? I want the whole world to be able to know. What's the message that you're telling with your music? Am I telling? I, I talk about everything. 
know what I'm saying? But I mean everything, I mean like incorporating how to deal with pain, and how to deal with situations and things like that, you know, anxiety, depression, schizophrenia, everything, man. I talk about experiences that I've experienced and things that, you know, I've seen. So that's just what I do in my music. And a lot of people do relate to it because people that's going through these things, they don't have an outlet, they don't have anybody to talk on. It. So that's what I do. I talk on it. So what's one of the biggest misconceptions that uh, people have about rock music when it comes to hip hop? They think it's heavy metal. <laughs> Let me talk. So like people think rock music is just screaming and it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's just heavy metal, but it's not. It's it's just a sense of more instrumentals, guitars, drums, all sorts of things like that coming together. The way I did it, you know what I'm saying, is a way to bring those instrumental sounds out with a melodic vocal sound for rock, but also having the flow to be able to flow like rap. So speaking of instruments, do you play any instruments yourself? Uh, I play the piano. That's it. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm trying to learn guitar, but it's hard. I it mean, ain't hard. I'm just, I, I just be all over the place. Time consuming. You got yeah, a lot going is. on. But, uh, Where'd you learn how to play piano? Uh, self-talk. Self -talk. I taught myself how to play um, a lot of different things, and I also taught myself how to read sheet music. But then again, I think I'm kind of lying because I took piano classes when I was like five, six. But you know how that shit. Is. You kind of had it instilled in you, but you yeah. still got out there and got it on your own. Yeah. That's still really self-taught, you know. Yeah. But you didn't just keep up with it when you were five. Like, no, hell no. Got it as I that got was the influence. It. Yeah. So. You know. What about producing beats? Hell no. No. I don't have, I'm sorry. I don't have the time. Or the patience. I got ADHD, so mom, I be all over the place. I don't have the patience to sit down and make beats. Yeah. And so, so with most of your music, um, where are you finding your beats when it comes so, to your style of music? I actually have producers that I work with. Um, two well, well, I don't know. They well known. Two producers that I know. You feel me? They make my beats. Um, I got a contract with them, and they just slot me with beats. So it's all in the studio. Do they uh, do live instruments? Um, shoot, I don't. Know. I don't know how they process work, man. Yeah. I just hit them up. I was like, hey, look. Hey, I but like, they producing the sound. They produce a lot of my music. Uh -huh. Two of them. They produce a lot of them. So I just, I said, let me keep them with me since I like their style of music. Okay, so um, as a fan of music today, what do you listen to outside listen of yourself? To? I listen to IT and IT only. only no, IT. I'm just playing. Yeah. <laughs> no, I listen to everything. Um, a lot of people say everything, but they don't mean everything. But I mm. listen to rock, rap, R&B, techno, reggae. I listen to everything. So, so who or what is your biggest influence right now? Shoot. Ozzy Osbourne. <laughs> okay, he just dropped Patient Number Nine. That's my John right now. I've been listening to that. But uh, I say my Ozzy. That's, that's what's up, man. Yeah. Shout out Ozzy. I saw that he was active again recently. Yeah, because he just, you know what I'm saying, he came back. But I All like, right. uh, shoot, Travis Barker too. You know, okay. Machine Gun Kelly. You know, big influences. You know, I, I was biased towards Machine Gun Kelly because I'm just such a hip hop head. You know, when he did the Eminem thing, and then it was like, I know a lot of people were like, you know, they uh, felt like he used rap to get on, and now he's doing the whole rock thing. Which I'm not necessarily mad at it because I love all types of music as right. well. But how do you feel about that? Did you feel like it would be easier for you to get on with rap and then introduce your style of music, um, or are you just gonna put this in their face? Okay, so I actually did rap first. Um, I actually did pop and rap first. But uh, to me, I feel like because rock is different in the rap community, I feel like it'd be easier to introduce myself as a rock star, you know what I'm saying, into the hip hop community. And I feel like that'd be easier to get on. Who do you feel has been the biggest rock influence on the hip hop community? What artist? Uh, probably Ian Dior. Um, he's pretty big doing rock and rap right now. Mm -hmm. um, so. How, how did you feel when Wayne started doing rock? Oh, uh, I ain't gonna count. I don't, I don't listen to Wayne. Yeah. Feel me? That's just me though. Wayne is, is who he is. He mm -hmm. big influence in the industry. But me. did you listen to any of his rock music at all? Uh, no, I did not. No. No, I did not. <laughs> I was too busy creating my own music. <laughs> so who's your favorite rapper? Uh, NBA Youngboy. Okay, okay, and he he's definitely pushing a lot of uh limits with his sound as well you yeah. know he has a lot of rock influence 
I know recently, like uh, I said, I feel like with rock artists, they've always had a better way of expressing themselves. It wasn't just about the music, it was about what they wore and everything. Yeah. And he did that with the makeup. With the, yeah. With and he the, was criticized. Yeah. And now they're saying Future just did that and he's not getting criticism. Like, right. so why do you feel like Youngboy gets that criticism and not Future? Um, because he's younger, because, you know what I'm saying, Future has longevity. He's been in the game for quite a long time. YB is, also has a lot of hate hype. Mm -hmm. um, so I feel like that's probably why. Okay, okay. So I feel that, and the only thing I, I like to try and turn a lot of hate into positivity. And I feel like that's what keeps a lot of these artists going because someone's always gonna find something to hate. Yep. What is your negative that you can turn into a positive? Because oh, you're a young artist as well, coming in with a new style that people might not necessarily be ready for. I, I, I feel like I'm gonna take it like Lil Nas X did. Okay. okay? The way people, you know, instantly rejected him when he came out to actually be himself. Mm -hmm. I don't care because you got a thousand haters, but you also got a thousand supporters. Mm -hmm. So I come in how I come in differently. And it's going to be some people that don't like me and that's okay. And it's going to be some people that absolutely love what I'm doing. So that's okay too. And what are you currently pushing? Um, right now what I'm currently pushing is... Uh, Nobody's Home. It's on pre-download on all platforms right now. It's going to be released August 1st. It's, I say this is probably one of the first songs on the EP that is being dropped right now because the EP will be coming out later on this year. But I'm doing like a waterfall method with dropping uh, Nobody's Home first. So that's what I'm pushing right now. Okay, okay, okay. And let everybody know where we can follow you and find all your music. Man, y'all can follow me on all platforms, all social medias. Everything is the same. It is I-T. That is E-Y-E-E-T-E. -E -E -E. So uh, what made you go with the E-Y-E? -E? Last question. Okay, so uh, that's actually my first and last name. Uh, my first name starts with an I. My last name starts with a T. The only thing I did was spell it out. So Any, any reason behind that? No, it's just different. And it's me. It's different and it's me.